Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and an update on some of my painting projects uh, continuing to blast through them uh, through this period of lockdown. Um, I'm quite pleased with the production. Got a little sidetracked a couple of times, uh, this one being um, <laughs> one of the examples of sidetrackingness. Uh, this is a German um, Panzerwaffer, Waffer, Waffer, it's a Waffer Thin Mint. A Panzer Weffer, um, 42 Malver or whatever it is. It's basically an armoured rocket launcher. Uh, from Warlords, it's a resin uh, truck, or the chassis is resin, and then the, um, the, the tracks and wheels are metal. So this bit here is resin as well, the rocket uh, um, tubes. I've just done it up as a... I, I, Went on the interweb and picked up a German late war camo pattern um, and just painted it freehand. Um, it's not the best, but it'll do. I don't even know whether I'll ever use it, um, but it's uh, it was fun to play with and get set up. And it's so quick and easy to paint vehicles. Um, I really enjoyed it. Bit of muddy stuff around the around the tracks and the lower half of the uh, chassis. Um, got some transfers from. Left over from some uh, other Warlords kits. Um, just nice to get ticked off the box um, and ready to go. So there you go. German heavy cheese with a side order of rockets. So next up, uh, this is a Portuguese uh, Napoleonic uh, Warlords um, field gun. Well, actually, it's a howitzer. Um, it's one of their metal kits. I bought it uh, in the Black Friday sales as one of their three for two deals that they were doing. I bought a number of different packs of various different guns and what have you. Um, I've set it up to basically support my Portuguese force in sharp practice, so everything's individually based. I've got one of these war bases, um, bases for artillery, so each of these can come off. The only thing is, in sharp practice, artillery have five man crews, whereas in uh, the the Warlord pack for black powder comes with uh, just four. So it's a bit annoying, but hey, never mind. We'll just find another crew member or even a, another infantry man to slot in there. Um, yeah, it's a nice little kit. Um, came up okay. I'm quite pleased with the work. I, I spent a little bit more time on the crew members and I'm quite pleased with how they've come out. A little bit more effort around the edging um, and just sort of making sure that uh, the detail was quite right. Um, so there you go, another gun for the collection um, to support the Portuguese this time. So I mentioned getting a bit sidetracked. Um, this is a classic example of me getting sidetracked. Um, I, um, <laughs> I don't know why I did it. I was trawling through one board afternoon uh, looking at uh, New Line uh, figures and they had a 25% sale um, and before I knew it I'd bought um, some naval guns um, and also some uh, British Marines because I thought they'd be fun for my um, sharp practice armies just as part of the games really just a bit of variety um, but what I didn't realize was I actually bought a battery pack of guns from uh, from New Lines so it actually came with four guns um, and, and enough crew to man them all. And I don't really need that many. So what I thought I'd do was just create this sort of mini diorama with um, two of them. Um, I had some gabions left from, if you remember, the um, uh, the dwarf cannon that I did showed off a few well weeks ago now, um, where I had some gabions. These were what was left of that pack. Um, so I just stuck them on and sort of pack the crew and I wanted to have that sense of being tightly packed like they would be in, in a ship uh, even though clearly they're on land um, and I just thought they were fun. Now the figures are slightly small, they're um, probably truer 25mm than 28mm. Um, in fact let's put this gun crew guy, yeah, I'm actually, actually not bad at all, doesn't really matter matter that much it's not far out so um yeah nice models so i did this little mini diorama i suppose i could use it in black powder actually um because they're just a battery in black powder so that would work fine um and it's 
just a nice feature. <laughs> just it was a bit of fun really. But the other ones I've done individually, so let me show you those. So here's the other two guns, and you can see I've kept them separate, um, put the, in, the crews individually um, so that they can be just used to man the bases when I need them to. I'll probably use these ones for the shot practice games. Um, and they're just they're nice little models. I mean, for I can't remember how much this um, these guns were, but they were not. I mean, I didn't realize I was buying a battery of four. They were that priced, if you see what I mean, at twenty five percent off. So, um, a couple of them. This guy's a black guy. Um, there was one other. I think on the other base there's a black guy as well. There's a nice little bit of variety in the figures, considering they're, you know, if I'm honest, they're not the absolute best sculpted figures you'll ever see, but they're nice enough and they paint up really nicely. And I think just they'll be fun. Just something a bit different. Always like a little bit different in my armies. Um, so yeah. That'll be joining the British Army uh, for whenever I'm doing any sort of uh, sort of coastal type games. Um, just a bit of fun, really. I'm quite pleased how they've come out. More done. So next up, a uh, bit of a tangent. Well, sort of semi-tangent anyway. Um, I um, when I bought those guns and the crews, I also bought this group of um, British infant, uh, British Marines um, from the Napoleonic period uh, from New Line, um, New Line Miniatures. Um, the 25% off, I just thought, well, I sod it. I just wanted something a bit different, really. Um, and I'll probably use them in sharp practice more than anything else because um, a group of eight is a unit, a group. Um, in that um, so I bought the 8 plus I bought a commander for this group and I also bought a marine captain who I thought could actually be the controller of the guns and also the infantry so just that was the that was the plan um, and I'm re really pleased with how these came out <laughs> um, this sort of um, I, I've never much liked painting um, red uh, red um, Red coats, British red coats. I, you know, much as I love playing with them, I don't like painting them usually. But I seem to have got a really good way of doing them. So I, I used um, contrast paint, um, was it Blood Angel Red, um, as a sort of base color over the over the grey wash, and then I highlighted, sort of heavily highlighted over the top with a brighter red, um, and then washed it with this sort of. I showed it before now. This sort of brown sort of secret uh, wash um, that I saw somebody do. Um, I'll try and put the link to the video where I talked about it because I can't even remember what it was called. But anyway, um, it's a really good wash and it has a sort of red and dark colour in it and I think it just brings out, whatever it is, it brings out the, the redness of the coats but also allows the rest of the colors to pop and i just think it really works well so i'm I'm really pleased with how this unit's come out in fact i think it's actually one of the nicest units i've produced recently so i'm, I'm really really chuffed with it the models themselves are okay um new lines are a little bit chunky bit diff bit basic shall we say uh, but these ones are particularly nice I'm, i really like these um I don't know how much action they'll see. Um, I've done them with my normal sort of Napoleonic basing materials, even though probably they should be on a beach, but, you know, they'll be used, as I say, probably as a formation within my sharp practice games, and I want them to fit in with the British Army there. So um, that is them done, and I'm very, very happy with them too. Really pleased with these boys. Nice group of figures. So next up, four Russian naval infantry. Um, four, you say, why is he doing four? Um, well, this was actually um, a, group, a bag of four that I lost when I was doing my Russian army, army um, last year or the year before. Um, and um, I knew I had it, but buggered if I could find it. And as I was sorting through the garage and the pile of shame, I came across it. So I thought I had to paint it up. So um, I... Have the all my um, naval brigade um, I've, I've mounted on these sort of street um, uh, bases that I bought from somewhere I can't remember now, um, which just basically means cutting, sawing off the pudding bases of the figures and then sticking to these bases. 
and I think the effect's quite good, um, mainly because I think I sort of in my mind I had the sort of idea of Stalingrad, Leningrad type um, fighting, which a lot of these uh, naval brigades got involved in, I believe. Um, love this guy, he's got a big moustache, a big um, cigar coming out of his mouth. Not sure what this guy's doing. He looks like he should be firing a machine gun or something, but I'm not entirely sure where these came from. I, I got in my head their crusaders or someone like that, but I'm sure somebody in the chat will recognise them. But um, yeah, nice to find them, get them done. They can join their compatriots somewhat late for muster, um, but it's another pack out of the garage of shame. So really pleased with that. So next up, some of my backlog figures. This is the uh, 21st foot, the otherwise known as the North British um, Fusiliers. Um, painted it up, basically this was uh, some of the sprues I bought last year in the Warlords um, sprue sale. Sadly, they didn't do it this year. But these were left over, um, and if I'm honest, I've been sort of, um, I kind of, I don't know, putting off doing them, shall we say. Um, I never like doing British infantry, um, but you know what, I found a really good way that I feel comfortable dealing with, and I like the effect. And um, so I kind of rattled these off quickly. So I've done them for sharp practice, so they're individually based. Um, 24 men in the battalion. Uh, which gives me t uh, three groups of eight uh, for sharp practice, which is perfect. And, you know, I can play uh, play them for black powder as well. Uh, so double double duties, really. So, yeah, I found um, um, just using, uh, which one do I use? Blood Angel Red um, Contrast Paint for the uh, red coat over a light grey uh, base. And then... When I've uh, washed it and dried it, <laughs> washed it and dried it, what am I talking about? When I've washed it, um, I've then been using this. This is, oops, put this somewhere you can actually read it. Scale 75 and Antares Red, um, which has a really matte finish. So I just then use it almost like a highlight over the reds. Um, and it just gives that really nice colour. Um, I've given them grey trousers. Um, I know there was a mixed bag between grey and white trousers, but these guys are on campaign, right? So they've got grey trousers on the whole. A, uh, a couple of the officers have got white trousers, um, and there is one rogue in there who's got brown overalls on. But apart from that, they're all in greys. Uh, that was Basilicum grey contrast paint. Um, and the flag is from uh, GMB. So, um, actually, think about it. The um, the command figures, so the officers and the standard bearer guy, are actually Vitrix plastic uh, because the sprues didn't give you any officers. So I bought um, a pack of their officers, and actually, they're really nice models. Really pleased. Uh, one of them. Let me see if I can find him. Where is he? Uh, bear with me. Yeah, this guy here. Oops. Particularly pleased with this guy. I think he's absolutely awesome. So, I don't know whether that shows up, hopefully it does. There we go. Really pleased with him. So, um, yeah, so that's that regiment done. And another load of the uh, backlog finished off, which is very satisfying to do. Put this guy straight. There we go. Look forward, man. Right. So, there you go. Um, that's what I've been up to this uh, last week or so, a couple of weeks probably. Um, been also making up a lot of new models, so um, assembling, undercoating, preparing, etc. Uh, takes a lot of time, doesn't it? So um, I tend to do it in, in batches, um, and the weather's been so bad, I sort of just wanted to get a load more done in case I can't get out and spray anymore. So... Uh, rattled through and got a huge pile of uh, primed and ready to go figures but I think um, you know it's been a good good couple of well yeah probably a couple of weeks if I intersperse with the other stuff I've uh, I've been showing off on the channel so yeah I think a week to two weeks this has been and a good good count really so um, anyway I hope you're staying well hope you're being safe uh, being responsible out there 
Uh, got to get rid of this bloody COVID so we can actually have a game or two and life can go back to some sort of level of normality and people are not unwell, most importantly. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you're staying well and if you, and uh, that you can manage to get some hobbying in. Loving all the videos people are putting out, lots of new channels out there, um, which is great, really good to see. And uh, thanks as always for the support. So if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, hit that bash that notify button. Uh, that'll tell you when I put new stuff up. And um, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you again soon. This is Dom, signing out. Mm -hmm.